Hello mga kasubs and welcome to the Sarsicles TV. My name is Mark and for tonight we will be listening and reacting to Frank Zappa and the song Zombie Wolf. Uh, before we give it a go, just a quick thank you to uh, All Day Adventures 5418 for this recommendation. Also extending our thanks to our uh, viewers and subscribers. Namamas ko po. <laughs> um, thank you for your interaction with our channel. To our dear members and sponsors, maraming maraming salamat sa extra loving na pinapakita ninyo. Huwag sana kayo magsawa. And sana yung blessings na sinishare ninyo dito sa atin, bumalik nyo sa inyo tenfold. And namamas ko po. <laughs> Finally, do check out our two other channels, Pojin Helio and Catherine Daily Vlog. Without any further delays, let us give this song a go. In three, two, one.
And that is the end of the song. Just so, uh, wow, very intricate, um, very entertaining, very playful um, song. One of those songs that you know really uh, tickles your fancy. If it were a kid listening to the song, uh, if I'm to tap on my, uh, you know, my child, uh, my inner child, I can see this being played, you know, in in uh, Sesame Street. You know, there's uh, there's this these uh, parts in Sesame Street that have those psychedelic-ish uh, visuals, you know, neons and black uh, black background and neons, and you know those. Okay. And those, you know, uh, nice visual visualizations and stuff. I can see that um, playing as this song is also, uh, you know, as this song plays. Uh, if it were, you know, me, the the present me, you know, uh, uh, I used to play in the band. Uh, I I have listened uh, and um, played with, you know, other bands up and up and you know up close. Um, I'd say that uh, uh, there's a lot of things going on. I can, there are like a uh, multitude of <laughs> instruments being played here. There's even a part here that reminded me of uh, Tom, Mer Tom Morello's guitar tone, um, the one similar to Testify. You know the, um, you know the, uh, the intro? That, that, that kind of sound. It's like a fuzzy cow or something. I, for, I, I didn't take the timestamp already. But anyway, uh, to describe the song number one, uh, I agree, totally agree. Never heard in your life. <laughs> and it's actually true for me because uh, in my previous reactions, I re already mentioned this, but for the benefit of those uh, who have not seen uh, my previous reaction videos or first time seeing my, uh, my videos, uh, I I honestly do not know that there is a Frank Zappa. I, like I didn't know that he's a real person, or a, that no, not, nor does he have a, a group. Um, the first time I heard Frank, the word Frank Zappa, I'll refer to it as a word first, was in Deep Purple because uh, as a kid I grew up listening to uh, these bands, uh, Judas Priest. Um, uh, Judas Priest, um, Deep Purple, Black Sabbath, um, uh, some Iron Maiden, Beatles, uh, Scorpion, Nazareth, Eagles, a a and so on and so forth. So uh, in the lyrics of Deep Purple, that's where I I, I heard the, the the name, you know. But Frank Zappa and the mother were at the buffets around, yeah. And then when I look at their album Machine Head, was it Machine Head? So in the uh, ca catalog or you know the co you know the the front thing. So as I look uh, there, there's also a picture of a certain house or mansion or what have not that that is uh, that was consumed with tin fire so you can only see the bone the structure of the house so i was assuming that was the uh, that that's the one that inspired the uh, song but i didn't know I, and i thought that frank zappa was just a, a fictional part of the song and i then that's where i realized i realized later on just a couple of months that uh, when someone i think it was david but i'm not 100 percent david sorry if it was you who first um recommended this uh, yeah, I think it was you. you. You mentioned, you know, listen to Frank Zapp. And then I, I, I was just, you know, I, I suddenly paused and then realized, so is there really a Frank Zappa? And then there you, there you go. Uh, that's where it all started. And I, I totally agree with this one. So whenever I listen to uh, Frank Zappa's music, it, it really is uh, amazing to, to listen to him because it, it it's like totally, uh, you know, you can't, put him in one specific jar uh, literally um, you can't really like 
um, fixate a particular genre for his songs. It's really, uh, you know, experimental. It's really, uh, you know, explorative, and it's like a a uh, convergence of you know different genres to the point that it's there. There's a lot of genres going on that it's hard to tell which one is um, prevailing. So it's like a mut mutation of of genres. Um, so here I also describe the intro as a some sort of a rabbit hole. You know, when you when when you start playing his song, expect that you're going in, on a certain spiral, uh, in a good way. So there's that uh, combination of that nice sexy bass, the uh, jazzy drums. Um, I like it when he does those nice fills in in somewhere in the middle of his beat. You know, basic beat, and then there's suddenly that drum. Very cool. Um, the horns, you know, I, I, I'm just calling it horns because I don't know whether it's a trombone or a trumpet or a saxophone or what have not. But, you know, it, it, they're the ones who really tickle the song and, you know, they, they twist it and shift it. And, you know, and the good thing, and the one, what's cool here is the drums, guitars, and bass, they, they easily can follow to that particular song. So it's like everyone is on the same page with, with uh, as well, and Frank Zappa as well. The guitar riff very fr uh, funky, and I like the the guitar uh, sound, uh, which I will de describe later on, and that wah wah thing here and there. So sp speaking of guitar tone, so it was around two minutes twenty two. I really dig the uh, guitar tone here. I, I I can only describe it like a clean tone with that slippery glass feels, you know. That, yeah. Uh, so it makes me wonder. Um, how was this tone achieved? Um, I, I cannot picture it being achieved by a Les Paul uh, because Les Paul is known to be you know fat and warm. So um, the closest I, I would say is maybe a you know a Fender with effects, or maybe they are using a, um, uh, a customized, uh, if I may, a customized pickup. Uh, when, when I think about customized pickup, the one thing that comes to mind is PRS, you know, with their, was it piezo, piezo, or that, uh, yeah, that kind of pickup. It has a nice, uh, it's bright, but it's like fat bright, but but uh, again, it's not the, it doesn't have that slippery glass feel, but let me know in the comments for those of you who know uh, about the uh, hardware used to achieve that kind of tone. Really love that, this sound. So there you have it. That is my reaction. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. And if you haven't done it yet, these are the stuff you can do to show love into our channel. Please do as many as you can. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about the Sarsicles TV. Sharing is caring. And most importantly, have a Merry Christmas and stay safe, everyone. I'll see you on the next video.